Like, I kind of don't give a shit. Yeah. What's the whole point of that if they're just gonna change it? I guess uh, it's it's like an MMO thing, dude. Honestly, it's like you get like the first year out of the way. The first year, it's it's grinding. All like the uh, annoying stuff is in the game. Like I don't even play MMOs. I know how it goes. You know what I mean? Like talk to like people you know who play MMOs, and they'll tell you the same thing. If it lasts. I, think I like MMOs. Well, I'll, I don't think you do either. Are you watching, by the way? Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching my scrub ass fucking play. <laughs> They're like a fat fucking. <laughs> Dude, this guy is quick. Almost bled me out. Alright, so. I gotta get you out of this fucking. There we go. Me and my receding heroin. There we go, you're back. Well, so if I want to find a new game to play... ...with you... And I'm sorry, I, I cannot play fucking Borderlands like I tried. It's just boring to me. Uh, and, uh, I'm trying to think what games you could play, cause uh... I don't know. You could play uh, Battlefront, maybe, <laughs> when it comes out. Can I admit something to you? Uh, I don't give a shit about Battlefront either. I've I've never liked Battlefront really. Like I remember I played it, but it was like. <laughs> don't ever upload this clip to you. Like. <laughs> Everyone's so full of shit with Battlefront, dude. You know what I mean? It's just like, it was the best fucking Star Wars, dude. It's like, no, it was a game that happened. I, I'm in agreement with what you just said to a certain extent. Like, I agree that Battlefront was a really cool game, but when people like, you know, are just like, oh my God, it's the best ever, this and that, I'm just like, okay, well, nah, not really. I don't know, I just feel like when I played Star Wars games it was like Dark Forces was good. Um You know what I mean? Like Dark Or X Wing vs TIE Fighter, you know, and um it was around the time the prequels came out when because I listen, I was I mean you know this about me, but not everyone does. Like I was a big Star Wars nerd, you know, like I was a huge nerd with Star Wars. Like, I could tell you the name of every alien in the cantina and, like, <laughs> who their dad was. <laughs> oh, f oh, oh, oh! <laughs> that's exactly what happened to me, and that's why I let my bones <laughs> I was talking and just... On I tried to pull my bow out, and I punched with it instead. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, I was I was one of those guys, you know, like I loved Star Wars like I would get all giddy when like a sound effect from a speeder played You know, like I just was so into that world like I was hard into it, man Like every every geeky kid has that like one Sci-fi thing at some point where they like they go they flip on and usually it's Star Wars and I'm usually I'm not unique in that regard but Dude like honestly When the prequels like I remember I was there I was sitting there I had my ticket I was so happy to watch the prequels the Phantom Menace and You know I read all the books You know I had all like all the expanded like like Star Wars history so I can tell you all about like how Boba Fett survived the Sarlacc pit and like all, like the storylines of all all four of those bounty hunters that were on the Empire's in the Empire Strikes Back on the on the on the main spaceship all right so Vader's on his you know his flagship in Empire Strikes Back and like he's got Boba Fett, Bosk, Zuckus his his robot friend Zuckus, uh, IG88's there, and Bosk is there, fucking reptilian Bosk, 
you know, and each one of those guys had a story, but you see them for like two seconds before Boba, uh, Boba Fett is talking to Vader and Vader's like, no disintegrations, right? In the movie, that's like a, a second of a scene. But someone wrote a whole story for each one of those guys. And it was in a book, and there was comic books, and then there were Star Wars cards based off of them, you know? Like, there was a whole history of lore from this huge fan base of people that just continued the Star Wars history. And I knew all of that stuff. And it was like, I'm, I'm bam, 1999, I'm 15, I'm sitting in the movie theater, I'm watching The Phantom Menace... And it starts, and it's just, like, right away I knew there was, like, a fucking problem, you know? Like, half an hour in, it's still not good. I don't like what anyone's saying. You know, it's... It was kind of a wreck, is really what it was. And by the time I got to, like, Jake Lloyd in the movie, you know, like doing his yippee thing, you know? It was already, like, kinda over. Ow. <laughs> so it was like, <laughs> I'm trying to like, as I'm sitting there in the movie theater, it's, it's dawning, it's almost like I w grew up sitting, like watching that movie. Like, where it was like the first time I realized, like, like something I could love could just be someone else trying to make money. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Did George Lucas ever acknowledge the hate for all those movies? Did he ever, um, like, say anything about it in response? Well, it was like, it was his story. And, you know, after Return of the Jedi, it got all about this whole merchandise. It came, it came, all, it came all about, like, merchandising. You know, like, Star Wars action figures, Star Wars sucks. You know, um... And he made, he made, you know, millions, maybe more than that, you know? And that sustained, like, he, 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 he was rich. So by the time the prequels came out, you had all these fans that were like, you know, Lucas can do no wrong, we've been waiting for 20 years, it's gonna be the best movie ever. And it was just shit. Hang on. Alright, so, like, my whole point about it was that, like, because you're we talking about Battlefront. Oh, I got Austin from him. Awesome. But yeah, my whole point about the whole conversation was that, you know, Star Wars for me pretty much was a childhood thing that I grew up about around the time The Phantom Menace came out because I realized really it was just a friend. Like, it became a story, like a crazy story that I loved to something that was really a franchise owned by someone who was making money. And it was kind of like Phantom Menace really made that like apparent. It was like, okay, he's trying to sell this to a new generation of fans and blah, 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 blah. And that's just how I felt about it. Okay. I was so it's... into myself around that time. So I saw Phantom Menace in the theaters, but I was a youngin. You know? Well, what I really mean is... I would have had a penis, and I would <laughs> stuff like that. I think I want to... I was that target audience. Right, which is fine. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not actually, like, condemning anyone for liking the prequels. I want to be very clear here that that's, that's not what I'm, what I'm saying, you know? What I'm saying is that, for me... All that, like, love that I had for it, the fact that I could, like, you know, tell you every character's name, and it was such, like, a big deal for me, and I loved it, you know, really, that kind of... Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. Well done. Well done. That was weird. Uh, 
punch, damn. I gotta concentrate. Ah, oh, fuck. I did the, the weird directional <laughs> mace swing. Yeah. See, I want to buy the Blu-ray. I have it. Edition of Star Wars, but it comes with all of them. Oh, I got the one that comes with uh, just the original trilogy. Ah. Uh. Come on, Joyington. We can do this. Oh, that was a, that was a good trick. You know, Malika probably would uh, be pretty good with that center sword. You know, uh, I don't know what the requirements are for it, honestly. Oh shit, I'm not wearing my shield. <laughs> I'm doing okay, honestly, considering I'm not really paying attention. <laughs> oh! Come on, come on, do it. The Victor's cover that makes it New Game Plus. You should have gotten attacked by those. Uh, no, it, it makes it the diff the damage on them, but it technically it doesn't have New Games um, Plus like like conditions. Okay. So like. Okay. So okay, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Star Wars. What I what I really was trying to say though is that. You get to a certain point in your life and you realize that the movies you like and the books you're reading and the comics you're following, the things that you consider entertainment, a lot of the, most of the time, they're designed to make you watch or read, you know, so you can make someone millions of dollars by buying a ticket or something, you know? Yeah. No, it really is true, because they do that with everything, like, um... Perfect example, they did that with Power Rangers. You know, like Saban had a gold mine. You know, he bought piece of shit footage from Japan and he casted American actors, came up with a random story. Dude, did you see that? I I I clubbed him, but it it hit the little <laughs> It hit the uh no, I saw that. It hit the fucking statue and it didn't it didn't count. <laughs> But it was it was the same idea, you know. And then and then look at Power Rangers today. They're on like season twenty three, and it's it's every year they do a new thing for a new generation. And you know, it's kind of how I feel about it's kind of how I feel. And you're gonna hate me for saying this, but it's how I've been kind of saying this to you like little by little the last year or so. It's what's the, going on with Marvel right now with the fucking movies. Yeah. It's just, like, look at the Fantastic Four, like, remake. Like, there's no reason to make another Fantastic Four. There's no reason to make another, you know, Spider-Man. It's just they're trying to just yeah, well, milk... You know why they did it, though, right? Yeah, it's all about because I want to get the character in there to make people come to the theater and say, Spider-Man! He's in the Avengers! <laughs> no, but I, I do like those movies, though. I find them entertaining, don't get me wrong, and I've, uh, oh shit, I probably should have prepared better. Fuck. Well, like, this is happening. I, I definitely get hyped. Like, I know I was a big fan of Ant-Man, I thought that was great. You know, stuff like that does get me hyped. But I do agree with you, I, like, I won't go into a movie theater and I'll say, like, oh well, Avengers Age of Ultron, best movie ever, like, oh my god, character development, everything was just spot on, like, I won't say that, you know. <laughs> I knew you were fucked. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I knew you were fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna just, yeah. I kind of didn't prepare, I just kind of walked in there like an asshole. Dude, he cooked me. <laughs> Jarellington's um, dead. <laughs> but yeah. Like, I gotta get a better I, weapon. I do like those movies, but, you know, they won't come up to, like, classic films, 
you know. Well, I don't want to act like a snob or something because I'm starting to sound like that and I'm not <laughs> intending it to be that way. I think what I really mean is that it's just... How do I say what I mean? It's... Oh, I got a big whammer. Brasov, I got a whammer. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that high train. Uh, you know what it is? It's like I'm I'm kind of a hypocrite because I'm like that with Batman. But it's like now that we had the Batman trilogy, because someone who was making it that actually respected the comics, and yeah, he kind of lifted a lot from other writers, and yeah, maybe some people are pissed that their comics got turned into movies that made billions of dollars, and they're living in like a condo, and I get that. But like, you know, at the end of the day. Like, right after that last Batman movie was made, they immediately started saying, okay, let's get Batman to fight Superman. Let's get the Suicide Squad. It's all like, okay, it's all it's all ammunition for them to make more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like, I, well, I kind of I get that feeling where it's like, sometimes I just, oh, I can do this. It's it's tough though, you know, as as people and things that we're into, we're our worst enemies. I mean, you said that yourself before, with many times. You know, we want to see more, but then we want it to end sometimes. Well, I know I want it to end. That's how I feel. I know I'm. Uh... And I talked to you about this before. I I very often feel like I'll like like everyone will be talking about. I'll be in a group cuddle, and everyone's talking about like. You know, yeah, I wanna, we're going to watch this movie, and I'm so excited for Ant-Man, I'm so excited for this. And I'll be quiet, I'll let, her, let everyone speak, and then I'll say something absurd like, doesn't everyone else have Marvel movie fatigue? And everyone will look at me like I'm crazy. So I do feel like a little bit like I'm maybe the weirdo in this situation. Um, yes and no. See, let's... Let's put it from this perspective. I didn't grow up with comic books. I got into comic books around the time I met you. And I was a full-fledged adult, like, in my 20s with a job, and I didn't have the luxury of going into any store and just buying a comic book and getting into things. I relied heavily on the movies around me. So from my point of view, that's my outlet. That's a good point, though. Things that you did when you were a kid, but you did it in the in in the book form. You know what I'm no, saying? No, it's it's actually a very valid point. It's kind of like I I guess I feel like I've experienced it already to on a certain level. Mhm. Mm you know, so that's a that's a fair point. I'll I'll concede that shit. That's that's how I look at it. Um. This guy's going to fucking slay me. That being said, I don't have the mindset of saying, oh, I think they should end it. You know, because my heart says, oh, I, I want to see more. But there are certain franchises I see that I'm just like, god damn it. Like Terminator. Like James Cameron. Oh, my God. It, and then he fucking nailed it again in Terminator 2 and I yeah. or whenever it came out. And then it's just like, come on. Like, what the fuck? You know, things like, like Alien. Alien. Yeah, good example. Out of the park for a while, and then they fucked it up. You know, so there are certain things where I'm like, okay, stop. Just, just stop. And that's because, okay, so it's exactly how I feel about it. Because it's like you said, you're experiencing it almost in your first wave now. Whereas I already had that first wave experience. So now I'm, I've, I have the fatigue, but you have kind of the same feeling. Okay, so it's... We are on the same page then. And it's not that I'm saying, and I want to be very clear, I'm not saying anyone who likes these movies is, is, is like buying into something and that the movies are really bad because I don't really feel like they're even bad movies. I just, you know what I mean? It's just... You're, yeah, you're just over it. Well, listen, so, and that's kind of, that's kind of... <laughs> <that's, laughs> movies are bad. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it's like with, this, with, with like games now, I feel it a lot, you know? Because you got to remember, with games, it's like, I've been, I've been alive longer than you. And we both discovered games when we were kids, though. But it's like, games that you played are a little bit different than games that I played. Would, you be, would, you, would that be fair to say? 
Oh, absolutely. I, I can't play games that you played. I just don't have, like, anything for it. But too hard for me. But it's like... It's like the sci-fi shooters are coming back now. You know what I mean? And if you've talked to anyone who plays any of the shooters or they've been playing it for the last five, ten years because they were growing up playing Call of Duty, there's a lot of hate for the new Call of Duties for trying to be, like, more science fiction-y, you know? Have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. And it's, like, it's, like, some really strong criticism. But from my point of view, it was, like... Like, I was already over this, because... When I started playing shooters, it was Doom, it was Quake, it was Duke Nukem 3D. They were already over the top and, and crazy like that. And it was... A lot of them were, yeah, sci-fi kind of style, you know? Mm-hmm. I remember Quake. Quake was good. And, you know, like, tri in tribes, you have, like, jump pads and stuff, you know? And it was like... Look, even Halo, when Halo came out, it was like... It was late to the game doing that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it came out at a time when like other shooters had already gone through it, and we're like, okay, well maybe we're gonna tr like Counter Strike was trying the like you know to do the Rainbow Six thing and doing like uh, you know cl like modern shooters uh, mods that were doing that stuff on other games like you know infiltration on, on Unreal you know and tournament and that kind of shit. And then Counter Strike and World War Two games were like really really big. You know, and uh, so it was like for a long time we, we, we had to suck on that, you know, realistic shooter like tit, you know what I mean? Because that was making billions of dollars, you know, it finally took some company to figure out how to make millions of dollars doing it, and that was it. That became the standard yeah. for like basically Everything. 15 years of just shooter history it was just the same shit every single year. So now that it's that they've run out of ideas and they're trying to they're actually falling back on what worked 20 years ago by like, you know, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like on, on like on like one hand, I'm kind of happy. But on another hand, it's kind of like how do I say it? I got to get to that ladder. I I think I know what you mean. Um but there are certain things that I gotta, well, like, I gotta be honest, as much as I know they're ridiculous, I still love, like, Gears, for example. Like, ever since talking to you about that game, like, I, 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 I've grown an understanding for it, but I gotta tell you, I, I still enjoy it. Oh, really what I mean is I'm actually happy that the new Call of Duties are doing the sci-fi thing. I'm Because I know what's going to happen next. They're going to finally come full circle. And maybe we'll get something that's trying to be different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and while I don't play the games, I'm happy to see that change. Because it, it, it brings me back to when I, I like those games. You know what I mean? It was kind of like I had to wait out the Halo years for that shit to happen, though. Because, like, consoles had to, like, go through the motions of it. And PC was focused on MMOs. And Valve was busy making browsers instead of Half-Life games. So, pretty much what it was is, like, <laughs> Valve would make a shooter. And everyone else would be like, holy shit, that's the most clever thing ever. We should copy that and do the same thing. And then uh, that changed to, like, okay... Maybe now we can, uh... Now they stopped making games, so... Great, we can't copy Valve. Let's try doing... Our thing over and over and over. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit. I'm really gonna miss not seeing Star Wars with you in theaters, man. Oh. There's certain movies that I just want to see with you. Like, listen, Terminator Genesis, I knew that movie was going to be shit. Like, I knew it was going to be dog shit, but I would have loved to watch that dog Dude, shit this too. fucking guy. Oh my god, are you kidding? 
I need my fucking health for this fucking fight. Alright, we're gonna have to do it. Alright, this is the guy that slayed me before, you remember? <laughs> yeah, actually, I do remember. <laughs> Good luck. See, he's not coming. Good luck. That was a fucking franchise they should have stopped. What? Although, we have different opinions on the second one. The Taken. I actually didn't like the first Taken movie. Well, I didn't, like, dislike it. Oh, he's got the fucking bone fist, dude. I enjoyed the first Taken movie. I just... I don't know why, but every movie that they did... They did that, uh... That, that cheap tactic that directors do when they... They do the jump cuts. And, like, you can't see the action. It's like, what the fuck? That's the only thing I really, really, really hated. Come on! Oh my god. Oh, yeah. You got him, you got him. Process. I'm out of stam. Get fucked. Got him. All of that for a fucking all stone. Eat it. See my hopes and dreams